Hey everyone, so I'm making a quick video on delegating access on GoDaddy. Main reason why you should be doing it is A, pretty much everyone buys their domain names on GoDaddy, right? So um, it, it's funny because the biggest thing that we get questions on is, you know, we don't want to share your logins, we don't want to have access for it, and we want to switch hosting. You know, we want to move the domain from one place to another. How do we do that and how can we do it quickly without having to basically, you know, get someone's username and password? So just checking out YouTube, I'm seeing that there's not many people actually knowing how to delegate access. So this is just a quick little video. Hopefully it's beneficial to you. And let's just jump right in. So... When you're logged into your GoDaddy account, this is your, you know, your personal GoDaddy account, whatever it may be, or it could be your agency one. Um, what you're going to see under account settings, you're going to see, you know, my products, you'll see account settings. And inside of account settings, go ahead and click on delegate access. It's kind of an odd place for it. Like it shouldn't be, it should be even almost up here on the top right. Um, but yeah, so account settings go to delegate access and it's as simple as requesting access so even to simplify how uh, how you're gonna speak to a client or someone that you know you're building a website for or you know taking care of all their IT email so on and so forth go ahead and just select that select access request access here and you choose instead of you you know, changing the narrative or explaining to them what you need to have access for, just send this out to them. GoDaddy will take care of all the heavy lifting. And, you know, name, email, um, typically just products and domains or domains only is what you need. You don't need to have any purchase access. Um, if you do want to do any purchases, you really want to do that outside of their GoDaddy account anyway. You want to control the narrative a little bit. Time to feed the cats. So once you request access, you'll get an email um, that says that you requested the access and your client will also get an email and they will approve it and there you go. You'll have access there and you'll be able to go in and you know choose any of them just to kind of show you how that looks like let's go ahead and click on these guys right here and when you click on someone else's delegated access it's going to look exactly like your own personal GoDaddy account you'll see all their domains um, you'll see you know their products and services so you got to see domains here any additional products that they might have any backups if you want to manage any of that and then you can go in and change DNS settings um, as much as you want and the biggest thing is you will want to change the DNS settings but don't really manage your hosting through here um, that's where like high levels like WordPress access and WordPress hosting would come in um, and I recommend something of that nature something that you can kind of create a price based on what you would want to charge your client and give you know sell that instead you know sell hosting as an additional service that you're offering um, and you know you're going to be managing that domain changing out the C name records here the client has given you access so you can do what you need to do and you can control the full narrative on everything that you need to do whether it's propagation time how long the site's going to be down so on and so forth having this control gives you the full functionality to kind of you know control the narrative as you wish hopefully this video is helpful if you guys have any questions leave a comment below and talk to you guys soon